Hello, my name is Kevin Regan. I'm the Product Line Manager for Trussec, and this recording is to take you through integration of our Trussec segmentation technology with ACI, Application Centric Infrastructure, integration which we're now beta testing. We're delivering this to enable customers to share context and policy group information between Trussec enabled networks and ACI enabled data centers to simplify security policy management so that customers can reduce risk, more easily meet compliance goals, and save time and effort in managing security. To deliver this, we use ICE, or Identity Services Engine. ICE classifies systems and devices that connect to an enterprise network and assigns them into different TrustSec security groups. That allows us to write group-based segmentation rules in this policy matrix in ICE and switches then dynamically download elements of this policy matrix that they need. Here I have groups representing users like auditors, contractors, developers, employees, and groups representing devices like point of sale systems. And my groups could also represent application servers, extranet connections, business partners. As customers are adopting ACI, we want them to be able to get the benefits of these group-based classifications and use them in their ACI data center policies. To enable that, we need to use some new capabilities coming in ICE 2.1 that allow us to define APIC DC controllers that we should talk to and allow us to enable this policy element exchange between my TrustSec domain and my ACI data centers. This is telling ICE to automatically create external EPGs in ACI to match the security groups we have defined in ICE, which I can show you here in our APIC DC controller. Here you can see the groups representing users I showed you in ICE. They now have an SGT suffix to indicate that they were automatically created by Identity Services Engine. As you can see here, ICE also feeds into ACI the IP addresses of the group members so that we can use the EPGs in our ACI data center policies to meet security goals for customers. Now, as well as creating groups in ACI, ICE is also retrieving information from ACI. And if I go to a list of my TrustSec security groups in ICE, you'll see we have some groups with an EPG suffix to indicate that they were automatically created to match ACI endpoint groups and you can see that they were learned from APIC. We also retrieve group membership information. So if I look here you can see some application servers that are classified within ACI. ICE has retrieved information about them and can send this group membership info to TrustSec policy enforcement points so that our TrustSec policies can reuse the ACI group information outside of the data center and customers can enforce policy wherever they wish. So to summarize, what we're trying to do here is deliver consistent security policy groups across the network, allowing customers to take TrustSec security groups and use those intelligent groupings in ACI contracts and also have ICE retrieve ACI endpoint group information and use those intelligent application classifications elsewhere in enterprise network security policies. So this will be available with ICE 2.1, which is currently in beta and should be released in June 2016. If you have any questions or would like to see more, please get in touch. My email address is kregan at cisco.com or feel free to reach out to, to my team, trustsec at cisco.com. Thank you.